What's up you guys? Happy Friday to you and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually so excited to film this one because if you've been watching my Facebook and Instagram thing you know I've been dropping some hints and clues for a special video for today which if you're a Halloween nerd like I am then you know that today is the official halfway point until Halloween. Now, I went on Wikipedia for this video, and I just picked three of the most, kind of, three spookiest internet viral urban legends, I guess you can say. And I wrote down, like, two or three facts, and I'm about to give them to you here in just a second. Like I said, all my facts that I pulled from each of these came from Wikipedia, so if you want to go do more research, go check it out, and do with what you will. Do with it what you will. There we go. So, so let's not make this a 30 minute video and let's go ahead and jump into my first pick which actually takes us back to three years ago, 2016. And let's talk about these clown sightings for a second. For a minute actually. So, as we know, clown sightings went viral in 2016. But, before they went viral, the first sighting was actually, of course, as everywhere says, it was in, the first one was in South Carolina, which is, I find interesting. And that's where it kind of blew up, I guess, because they started popping up, I think, mainly that's where the first couple ones actually were in South Carolina, and then it just spread like a wildfire. Wild fire. There we go. English words. They go here. Now, apparently, hold on, let me see. Now, according to Wikipedia, some of the cases of the incidents that were claimed apparently often like any official evidence, which I can see because when some hits the internet, sometimes things are not what they appear, which actually takes us to the last fact, which is some people were thought that this was, of course, with it coming out the in 17, that this was a stunt from Hollywood, which raises my eyebrows this year because what's going to happen for Chapter 2? And here it is in May, and it comes out in, what, September? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens as far as if they come back or what happens just in general because I do see... Something coming back. I just don't know if it's going to be clowns or what. But that pretty much sums up the clown thing. We're going to go ahead and jump into the second one I picked. Which I want you to try to keep it not general. Like, oh my god, he picked these three. But the more I get it, the more I kept looking, like... These three are probably going to be the easiest three to do, so let's go back another year. I think this one, yeah, this is 2015. I'm sure, this one comes from. But it's the Charlie Charlie Challenge. Oh boy. So if you don't know, apparently you take pencils, or in one version, you take two pencils, and it's kind of like a yes or no, kind of like 20 questions or a magic eight ball or something like that. According to what I saw yesterday and just know of but apparently for whatever reason what you what I didn't know and this goes hand in hand with something else that we'll talk about later that apparently the challenge existed like way back like what was it 2008 yeah 2008 is when it started I think it started like maybe Mexico or somewhere but it's on Wikipedia, and I just kind of glanced over it. And I thought that was interesting. Because most things, you don't... You think they exist somewhere else, but then you don't know. And then, in April, apparently, in 2015, on the 29th of April, that was when a video of the game, or the challenge being done, was uploaded to YouTube. And that was pretty much its spotlight. Which I thought was kind of obvious. Because now you go on YouTube and you look it up and there is that's what pops up and there's all these challenges. I ain't trying to talk to no spirits, okay? I'm just saying. 
This stuff is weird. And it's not as weird as the last one. We'll get to it in a second. But for something that caught me off guard is I didn't know when I was doing my research for the challenge that there was actually two versions of... There was one version with the two pencils and there was one with four. Which kind of made no sense to me. But hey. It is what it is, I reckon. I don't know. I hope that music's loud enough. Hopefully it is. Just enough to set the tone, you know. Because we're definitely going to need it for this last one. Ooh, let me bump it up just a little bit. For this. Now, let's recap real quick. We've talked about the clowns. And we've talked about the Charlie Charlie Challenge. Or, I'm just going to call it the Pencil Challenge, okay? Because it's going to sound like gibberish. If I keep trying to say the actual name. So... We've come to my last pick. This is my third pick, I guess. I'm not really putting these in any kind of order. Just listing them off. So we've done something from 2016, 15. Let's go to something a year back. Let's go to 2014, shall we? And by that, you probably know what I'm talking about. He needs... No introduction. No, he's not related to Justin Timberlake because he's the man in the woods. Supposedly. Of course, it is Slender Man. The man with no face. Who, I just said, is not related to the Justin Timberlake for being the man in the woods. Okay? Two different people. Two different subjects. One spooky. One that likes to sing songs and just can't stop the feeling. Okay? Moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to put that in there. So, first things first, and it, like I said, this goes hand in hand with the pencil challenge thing. Slender Man got his start years back before he got his internet spotlight. And he got his, his first appearance was on, let's see what I wrote. His first debut was actually part of a post on I don't know if this was like a blog or some kind of YouTube video. I'm not sure, but it was on a something awful post. So, that was interesting. And then that's when, after he did that, after that happened, then he got his internet spotlight official whatever. Now, of course, there's one fact that everybody knows. If you don't know, then you're about to find out. It was the case of the 12-year-old little person kid that got had a nearly fatal stabbing in Wisconsin and I guess that was the one that hit the airwaves or the news and everybody was talking about it and trying to figure out what this thing was and then he got even more popular and then he blew up on the internet even more which is oh no seems different to me but this is something that really blew my mind as far as everything. Because this last thing was like, whoa. And you won't see why in just a second. So, you know, last year, and I don't know if it came to about Oscar or not, but there was a movie. But apparently it flunked. It was a total box, uh, box office. Yeah, no. No, thank you. Because apparently it had a whole bunch of bad reviews. Well, that's shocking. I find that shocking because, you know, most things that come on the internet, like the clowns, well, they had Pennywise to follow up in, you know, Pennywise and It. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, the whole, well, I thought for him being the Slender Man thing being so, I guess, I won't say ongoing, but for him to get a movie or to somebody to be crazy enough to inspire a movie after this thing. And I'm going to give you an extra one real quick. But when I was doing all my reading and research for Slender Man, apparently there's been numerous parodies and kind of off-branded nods to the whole character. So I'm kind of really surprised to find out that the box office or the movie didn't do so good. But hey, it is what it is. 
cook me? I don't know. Like I said at the beginning with the clowns, I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, hopefully nothing terrible, but we'll see. Well, I can officially say that was my top three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't move, talk too fast. I'm probably gonna watch this and see if I like it or not. This is like my third time recording this, but hopefully this one will make the cut. And I can get it up before noon, before I go take a field trip to Mama's for the day. But, like I said, happy official halfway to Halloween day to you. Uh, y'all have fun. Y'all have a great summer. Enjoy your Friday. And I will see you guys next time. I'm probably going to have another special video. I'm probably going to do one next Thursday for June kick off June with something super 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 exciting and you're gonna just have to wait and see what it is but real quick one last thing I'm gonna get off if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up like subscribe comment whatever and let me know what your favorite part was <laughs> favorite part was there we go and I will see you fuckers next time <laughs>